Yan. Okay, this is again um the one that I posted. Um this the lightweight version of my um my PowerPoint. So again, I have the beefier one um which I will be posting by Friday, okay? So yeah. Um again, we we're, we're on our um third module, the first being um storytelling, the second being our cinematography, and then the third, syempre, our mise en scene. So we have basically the same objectives. So we'll be skipping that all, um now. Uh, same, uh, I'll be skipping the introduction. And yeah, mise en scene. Okay. So with mise en scene, guys, um it's French for placing on stage, okay? Or Picture within a picture. Okay, so uh, Mr. San is an expression used to describe designs, uh, design aspects of a theater or film production. So, yeah, um, you've been doing Mr. San for all your role playing um, activities, your theatrical activities back in high school. So, yeah, you've been doing this already. So, um, like in photography, like in our cinematography. You've been exercising them, but syempre, um, it's just now that you're yeah, finally um, able to define or at least identify what you've been doing for the past years, diba? Okay, so that being said, let's move on. Okay, when applied to cinema, mise en scene refers to everything that appears before the camera, before our frame. Okay, so um, again... What you intend to see on your screen, your audience, your viewers will um, create meaning out of it, diba? Uh, so, minsan, when we, um, when we irresponsibly leave something in frame, our, um, what do you call this? Our viewers will or might come up with something out of it, di ba? Even if we don't intend it to be, di ba? So, minsan nagkakaroon ng meaning yung mga parts na naiiwan natin doon na hindi naman natin intentionally yung dapat andoon. But then again, we were irresponsible or um, filmmakers, film produ production um, became reckless, naiiwan nila. Um, how many of you guys have seen the TV, uh, the movie Ben-Hur? Okay, so Ben Hur, um, it's set in, um, siempre, I think after death, um, um, something something years after death ni Christ, um, Roman Roman ano Roman era, um, may Shariat um, race, may awa, may laban di ba? Um, part of um, Greek mythology kasi siya, I think or Greek history or Roman mythology or Roman history. Um, so yun, may chariot fight, ganun-ganun. Tapos, one of the explosion, di ba syempre, chariot lang yun eh. Dapat hindi ganun ka OA yung pagtalsik ng chariot. You will actually see um, a NOS, a nitrous oxide tank in one of the chariots. So siguro, uh, it, they use that to um, propel the chariot over para yung talsik niya extreme as in talsik talaga di ba usually bikes don't um propel uh, they, they don't fly pag nababangga di ba usually pack semplang di ba sira yun na, yung chariot di ba tumalsik talaga tumaob um i will try to find it here on on youtube hopefully i don't you don't see any of my porn collection na joke lang yun i don't have a porn collection okay so i am uploading i'm still uploading pala um, wait, let me open a different. Apologies, oh, because um, this is this really sucks. Um, I'm using the same browser, but I have to choose to use a different one. So, again, YouTube. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Props. In. Mm. On. Video. Sige, wait lang. That's a props fail. When I, when I check out props, um, it's either um, prop hunt 
or propeller mali wait lang oh okay um film mistakes na lang they don't call it misan san or on watch mode jo or okay so I'll try to watch I'll try to watch this with me or I'll try I'll try to post it na lang para at least you are not compelled to watch this per- particular video pero I'll post it on our topic thread so that um you will have the option to actually watch it or not depending on how what you like okay so I've posted five biggest mistake a movie mistakes you missed so I I'm hoping that one of the one of the scenes or one of the movie um, scenes um, that they will show is the Ben Hur movie that I that I am telling you. Okay, so going back, yeah, some authors take camera style as mise en scene too. So again, yes, um, sometimes um, emotion shot is considered mise en scene because it shows acting chops of the characters, diba? or or of the celebrities. Okay. With the absence of sound and words, one can observe tone, meaning, and narrative information conveyed through mise en scène. Okay, so again, whatever we cannot depict by a dialogue, via their script, via their acting, if bland or if hamon umarte ang characters natin, like our like our pretty celebrities here in the Philippines, pangat umarte, then yeah, we make use of mise en scène. Um, Yes. Um what or which celebrities or local celebrities can you think of that is really pretty or handsome but really sucks in acting? Sino? Sino ba yung mga celebrities natin na yon? So with that, uh, if they are your celebrities or they are your talents for that particular film, you should exert more effort in misan san, di ba? Um camera shot of them of them crying. Although pangat umarte, pero syempre you have to angle it well na para maganda tignan, di ba? Um, they are not, or not everyone is like John John Lloyd Cruz. Yung pangat umarte, kaya he is really a great actor. Kasi yung pangat yung umarte, di ba? Ay, ang pangat yung umarte. Pangat yung umiyak, di ba? He's a great actor, di ba? Tapos ang pangat yung umiyak, which, is, which makes it more human, which makes it more realistic, di ba? Minsan when women cry, ang pangat, ang ganda nila umiyak, di ba? So parang, Oy. pero they don't really look legit, de diba? They 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 look fake just by the the teardrop, de ba? Whereas when John Lloyd Cruz cries, hagul gul tapos ang pangit niya, de ba? That makes it more realistic. Because people, all of us are ugly when we cry, de ba? So yeah, um, with John Lloyd, kaya kaya niya mag ano, mag ay yung on the spot na crying sequence. Um, na um, hindi siya conscious sa itsura niya which is great um, he's yes the making of a great actor talaga okay so these are all mise en scene key aspects um, we have set design and location so ito yung props and at the same time location nyo but then again we are not filmmakers so we will make do with our existing location diba? that's what we do with our Um, projects like film, ano, film, uh, short films, diba? Or even commercials, diba? You, you, you choose locations of what you already have, diba? You don't create them from out of nothing, diba? We have lighting. So, yeah, um, if your story is shot or should be in daylight, then your, your video should be very bright. Um, yeah, for for um, short film makers or short film creators like us, when we do our projects, we shoot at daylight. Because that's the natural um, source of light. Natin, diba? Pero for some people like bloggers, like content creators, they invest on good lighting equipment. Diba? So yun yung difference natin from them. Space. Space. Yeah, space and composition. Space and composition is our blocking, how how, how we frame our scenes, di ba? So, um, pwedeng is, include nyo dito ibang camera techniques na gamit natin, like uh, over the shoulder. Yun, that's considered mise en scene. When you have over the shoulder shot, guys, you um, um, you put the the guy, the the face of the guy um, who's be, being 
shown um inside the the shoulder, 'di ba? Frame nga siya over the shoulder nung kausap niya. Pag nakikita natin yung mukha na yun, um it is imply or it creates a, a, a subconscious meaning that the guy is caught, 'di ba? The guy, the guy is parang cornered, 'di ba? Literally speaking. Kasi cornered siya, 'di ba? Yung left or depende sa how you frame it, pero yun nga, covered siya nung taong kausap niya na nakatalikod sa camera, 'di ba? So, parang cornered yung dating niya, 'di ba? So that's all. what the what kind of emotion, what kind of ex- um feel you want to imply to our audience, 'di ba? And syempre, we have costume and HMU which is hair and makeup. So again, um actual film um film outfits or literally film production choose the right outfit the right wardrobe diba? which i'll show you next meeting pero for now i'll just run through our course pack which is very lightweight okay syempre acting is one of um our mission san pero pag walang acting skills or bobo marte we have other aspects naman And then we have film stock. Film stock is if you are to create a short film and you cannot in or for whatever reason you cannot shoot um underwater because you don't have uh, an underwater or you don't have a water proof camera. So we use film stock. We download stock um fo- film stocks or film footages online. Diba? Or manghihingi ka. That's film stock. Film stock is wherein you make use of stock videos or bought or rented videos from your friends. Gagamitin mo for for your own video. Kunyari um Kunyari lang to guys. Um we have um love scene. Love scene ni <laughs> Love scene ni Baltazar and ni Sofia. Joke lang to guys. Ha? Joke lang to. Love si ni Baltazar and ni Sofia. Tapos, um, si Sofia, ay naman niya talaga magpahawak or mag, ano, mag-frontal nudity, di ba? Same, same with Baltazar, ayaw din niya. So, instead of um, implying it by using curtains, is kunyari shadow-shadow lang, that's also misan-san. Another misan-san is wherein you look for stock photos or stock videos online. Either you buy it or you borrow from friends or yun ask friends um kung meron silang <laughs> meron silang sex scandal anyways so yun um look for um a video wherein the characters resemble Baltazar and Sofia then use it as your as the part of your love scene di ba that's film stock same kunyari if you want to imply kunyari Fritzy um action sequence si Fritzy magbabanji jump kunyari from from a cliff. Syempre Fritzy has um acrophobia, 'di ba, or fear of heights. Um ayun yung ganun, 'di ba? Plus wala tayong cliff sa Pilipinas, 'di ba? Except do sa mga malapit sa mga beaches. So what we can do, we can go online and download or buy a scene like that, 'di ba? Which is kind of ano, which will be appropriate for our our film. 'Di ba? That's film stock, guys, okay? Um rain Diba? Yung mga rain sequences. Um, kesa magbukas tayo ng hose and sprinkle it on our lawn, our garage, tapos kunyari mo ulan, you can just come up with ano, um, an establishing shot na umuulan. Diba? So you download or you buy it again. Diba? Ganun lang. Tapos indoors na lahat ng conversation. That's it. That's as simple as that. That is film stock. Okay, wait. I'll just... Kim Chu. Uh, okay, what's Kim Chu? Joanna, what's kimchi? Ano yun? Sorry, hindi ko nabasa. Ngayon ko lang nabasa to. Okay. So, yeah, that's film stock, guys. When you cannot um, produce your own um, scene, you copy or you buy it from other sources. That's film stock. Yun nga, World War II. Diba? World War II yung story nyo. Tapos yan, si Sophia naka pang ano, naka... Um, Barot saya. Um, tapos may mga Guadjo Sibil. Kunyari, Guadjo Sibil pa ba time na yun? No, ma- may mga hapon, di ba? Pero wala tayong Japanese looking aside kay Mar. Di ba? So we can do film stock. Kunyari, may mga gera. May mga war sequences. 
yun, download lang kayo. Diba? So, at least buo pa rin yung story nyo. Okay? And that puts effort pa rin in your production value. Okay? So, yeah. Um, yun lang, in-enumerate ko lang naman na dito din yun. Um, some examples for set design ito. If you can look, if you can still see our PowerPoint, um, this is a good set design. This is from a TV show called Hannibal. Okay, so um, you have here a very um, symmetric shot. Um, this Hannibal Lecter is a very intelligent, very uh, well-rounded individual who's secretly a a cannibal, kumakain siya ng tao. Okay, serial killer siya na kumakain ng mga victims niya. So, as you can see on the left frame, ito yung educated side niya. Books, um, China wares, frame, very expensive. He, he shows that he has, uh, the, the left pin shows that he has style, he has taste, di ba? But on the right side, ayun yung animal side niya. Dugoan, he has two knives uh, he's wielding two knives yun diba so that's mise en scene set design and props yan diba napapakita yung frame framing and the props show an entire characteristic of your subject or of your characters without even having to tell them or spoon feed them okay for the lighting yan this is from the movie dark knight diba with Joker, Joker is a very, very, um, um, what do you call this? Mysterious character. You don't know the background. Um, he doesn't, you, you won't know about his, um, what do you call this? Um, yung reason for doing. Diba? So, yeah, the lighting, as you can see, we have a huge light source here. Pero it, it is not, um, parang, kaya paano it's implied na yun yung ilaw sa, right side na mukha niya, and then the left side niya shadowy lang, di ba? So, again, lighting creates a mood or an atmosphere na ito, mysterious si, ano? Mysterious si Joker. Wait lang, guys, ha? Okay, my apologies, guys. So, yeah, we have a lot of different lighting scenarios we have two lighting scenes um three light operations so yeah you can check this out uh either way we won't be able to afford them naman <laughs> next we have composition space and composition so this is how we frame so like our blocking with theater with composition naman you block or you compose your characters on your screen diba um, with intimate scenes like this, it's either magkagalit sila magkagalit, like sinusungal nga lang na nung guy yung girl, or they are about to kiss. Diba? So either way, you create a story behind it. Hair and makeup, of course. So we have costumes and hair and makeup. Um, syempre, it depends on the characters that you have on your story. With Alice in Wonderland, very strange, very unique yung outfit nila. So, yeah, weird lang, di ba? So, syempre, we have the protagonist na napaka-modest ng outfit, which is si Alice uh, herself. Okay, next is film stock. Yan. Another example or another meaning of film stock is you create um an ambience on your film stock. Usually, when you download... um. When you download scenes um, online or when you buy them, syempre it is not the same as yours. So, minsan you have to color grade them. Syempre, di ba, masyadong maganda yung quality nila. Tapos tayo, budget cameras lang. Ang layo nung scene. So, for it to be more realistic and to be more part of your video, you have to, um, you have to make your, you have to make the, the bot video or rented video ugly para mag-akmado sa camera na ginamit mo for the entire film. Okay? So that's another way of saying film stock. Pero what film stock really is, is you download or you get from outside sources. You don't you don't um, produce certain scenes anymore. Okay? Tornadoes or um, yung mga natural calamities. Okay. 
Minsan kailangan mo nga alam magpaalam when you do film stock. Kunyari, uh, you have to get sequences from um, a news coverage, di ba kunyari, of an actual crime or an actual um, calamity. Kunyari, Ondoy, Yolanda. You download it. Pero if you're doing it as a project sa school, you don't have to make paalam kasi it won't be shown commercially naman, di ba? You may post it online, pero yeah, hindi naman importante. Or hindi naman... Well, you can do AdSense, pero you're not really you know, earning from it. You just want it to f- complete your story. Diba? So, yeah. Next is, again, aspect ratio. You have different aspect ratios. Um, but currently, what is um, more popular, I think, is we have the one by one. This is the Instagram frame, which I hope nobody uses. Yes, one by one and qu- square. Diba? And then we have the 4x3. This is yung television, yung medyo boxy na rectangle. Then we have the 16x9, which is the widescreen. Ito yung may bar sa up and down natin. Okay, so when you do aspect ratio, kunyari, when you use flashback, instead of um, using sepia, using, um, what do you call that? Black and white. You can put bars, di ba? Kaya lang medyo, medyo inconsistent yung dating nung video mo. Naka 4x3 kayo, tapos mamaya bigla magsi 16x9 yung video. Again guys, um, when 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 my dad was young, actually hindi naman yan, matanda na talaga yung tatay ko. Pero he always mistakes um, whenever we see a, a movie na may blacks sa baba at taas, feeling niya may sira yung TV. Uh, pero yun nga lang, it's just that the video that is being shown whether from a local source or from a TV from a TV channel hindi lang compatible sa TV namin okay so usually um, movies are done in 16 by 9 pero kung ang TV niyo 4 4 by 3 lang din nagkakaroon ng irregularities lang that's why you sh- you see black and white or blacks at the top and bottom of your screen kasi nagko-compensate siya pinapalit yung screen nagkakaroon ng vacant areas the sub top and bottom portion of your of the video that's why we have that so that's 16 by 9 and then we have the 21 by 9 it yung longer version of 16 by 9 this is the kind of um, aspect ratio that new phones have um most likely um android kasi sila yung iba-iba yung resolution eh di ba pahaba na sila manipis pero mata- mahaba or mataas ganun so that's the new aspect ratio ng mga mobile phone screens ngayon, 21 by 9. Pero for videos, it's 16 by 9 pa rin. Use the standard widescreen. Kasi even if you have the latest, the, ano, the, the widest, pero if it's not compatible with most TV sets, with most monitors, then it will still suck, di ba? So, might as well most, uh, use the most up- um, applicable, use the most compatible um, aspect ratio um, format, diba? So, um, right now, guys, when I when I upload uh, when I upload my videos, whether for lecture or what, um, no, n- not really for lecture, for my vlogs, dati, um, even if I have a four uh, a four K camera, I don't um, use or I don't shoot by four K. It's always ten twenty p. Bakit? Kasi most of my viewers will not be able to see the 4K naman. That was before, before I, before I, when I was vlogging. Um, yun nga, nag, nag, 10, 1080p lang ako. I don't use um, 4K. Even now, kasi because of um, the, the internet connection that we have, right? Here in the Philippines, it's better to shoot at 4K, um, 10, 1080p. If you're using 4K, usually for my personal, ano lang yun personal consum- consumption lang yun. Like, I have a 4K um, laptop. I have a 4K TV. Yan. At least ako lang makakita nun. And it will, hopefully it will be as good as I, I thought it will. I, I thought it will nung nag-shoot ako. Pero if I intend for people to see it, 1080p is okay na para sa akin. Siyempre, for your videos, I ask, I keep asking you guys to do 720p or lower Para mas madali i-upload. Kasi syempre, the bigger the aspect ratio, the bigger the file size, di ba? So, yeah. Those are the um, aspect ratios, guys. One by one. 
in our Instagram aspect ratio, we have four by three, the TV uh, box or and um, letter box type. And then we have the 16 by nine, the widescreen. Okay, so we have a lot more as you can see on the screen, pero they are not really applicable sometimes. Okay, so it's always 16 by nine or four by three. If you can see your camera uh, aspect ratio, we only have three or two. 4x3 and 16x9, tapos nagbabago lang siya sa frame rate. So, and syempre yung ano, frames per second. So, we have 60 FPS, 20 FPS, um, 30 FPS. If you're doing slow-mo, you can do 120 FPS. Pero na, um, the aspect ratio will remain the same. Okay? So, uh, then again, if um, as you can see on the aspect ratio, um, laging pahiga kasi it's always more professional to shoot on landscape rather than portrait with tiktok yeah talagang portrait shot siya pero with anything else yeah use landscape mas maganda pa rin landscape okay so yeah yun lang ang aspect ratio what else is here wala na pala yun lang so uh, another infographic you can just click on this um if you've downloaded the file then it will lead you to a particular um another photo about the different mission sense so additional info lang naman yan Reflection, you don't have to do this. Oops, you don't have to do the reflection anymore because um, we've been doing a lot of um, dito, um, activities naman, uh, as um, way before this. So you don't have to skip. Uh, you have to guys. Uh, you don't do the reflection anymore. Okay, so let me go back to you guys. Okay, so uh, 